And Alex, where does your fascination with this divide between the living and the dead come from? I think it's uh, uh, it's really like a, uh, the center of all um, of all culture. No matter no matter where you come from, you you know we we are resisting death every day. That's what living is, and uh, and I think it's always movies are interesting when they explore something that's universal, but in the same time very particular to everyone because they're asking the question, you know, what you will do to bring back. You, uh, you love one, until what point you will go, you know, will you open the door or not? And, and that's a great device to create uh, a really scary uh, movie and a scary experience. Yeah, death is, I mean, it's, I think people, I think you have to be lying to yourself if you think death isn't a part of every single moment in life. It just is. It's, a, it's the one thing we're all, you know, just to be aware of your own consciousness, to be, have a brain, to be aware of your own consciousness, and to be aware that that consciousness will end or at least change in some drastic way, but we have no idea how, to, we have no idea how is, uh, is just a, an ingredient in every moment in my life, I know. Can you talk about Maria and Michael's life as expats prior to the tragedy, and did this mirror any of your experiences living and filming in India? Uh, yeah, this the character I play, um, and and his uh, his wife uh, are decide to move to India and live there, and uh, I think that's a very specific person who who wants to leave uh, their home country behind and uh, live in a world that um, that is that is that is new uh, for whatever reasons it can be you know uh, um, as many explanations and and uh, reasons why as there are people who have that inclination, but. Uh, but they definitely that is a is a, a um, uh, uh, you know a detail about someone that you can't you can't overlook. Uh, I don't think I have it in me not anymore anyway. I mean, in my there's 20s. something very romantic. Sure, yeah. Somehow about moving in a place, just celebrating the the couple that you represent. You know, sure, yeah. where you'll be necessarily uh, 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 on your own. I mean, you are in an amazing country. It's beautiful, but mm. you cut from the family, you cut from your friends, you cut from everything. Mm. So it's really a romantic celebration of you love as a couple, which mm. I think make them even more interesting in the movie. I think it's about, about um, uh, uh, values too. Like when you grow up in a certain place, you grow, grow up with a certain set of values, a set of uh, how you measure things as, as being successful or not successful. or. Um, and when you move to a place where that's all different, you are kind of creating your own world in a way. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what this couple wants to do, start a family here and create the, create the, 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 the village that, uh, you know, that they want to see, they want to be in. Now this film is at its heart a horror movie, but uh, what roles do drama, heart, and emotion play in it as well? It is, you know, there is not such a thing of just an horror movie or it will be just a very bad one. You know, if it's only about making uh, 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 bloody things or whatever, that doesn't work. What works, I mean, just, you know, for my, my small experience is when you really understand and follow the characters, when you actually leave the experience instead of just watching it, you know, like the more the less distance you have between the audience and the characters, the better you are to scare the audience. And uh, and I think that goes with a real uh, uh, character-driven approach of filmmaking, where it's all about the actors, it's all about giving life to those characters, it's all about the background, it's all about the drama. And and, and drama can be a scary world, uh, you know, when it comes to genre, but if the movie is really scary, drama is just a way to say it's real as well. And that's what you want. You want the, the, you know, you want people in the audience to believe that that story is happening for real, and that could happen to them as well.